Hello and welcome to Pigs Creek. We stay in Branton, Canada. Most people, though, will call this North Carolina if they're calling it something other than Pigs Creek. Joining me at Booth, we have Stephen Paul III here for the 21st race of the season. Hello, guys. I'm, I'm st I've been stuck in Canada for the past three weeks. We're ready for more Canadian commentary. Well, yeah, prepare for yourself for the F1 pun because we have an all Williams front row, and no, it is not F1. We have Gabe Williams starting alongside PJ Williams. William Duncan starts alongside Henrietta Fitzwater in row two, and I, I appreciate the uh, drum sound that you try to make. Kyle Sosnowski and Preston Plourd, row three. And it's Kyle Matthews and Canadian Jeff James in row four with Nick Pericles, Jay Stella, row five. And I'll hand it over to Steven. Well, this race is going to be a wild race. This is the SS race. Uh, there's going to be a lot of good racing here. I mean, we have some side by side. We're going to have four wide. We're going to have beating and banging, and we're going to have a giant wreck. And somebody's going to go flying. So I don't know who that's going to be, but whoever it's going to be, it's not going to be fun for them. And that wild card position between the teammates, it's going to get good. Um, I will actually call your four wide and raise you about six. Yes, and, and this track. And last week we learned I can't count, so I'm not going to guess how many wide they are. Um. So a little points picture here before we get to the predictions. Dylan Young comes in as the points leader by five points over Roman Rahal, and he will roll off from 42nd here today. Alex Hawkins comes in 115 points back in third. Betty Johnson 117 back in fourth. Our pole setter, P.J. Williams, is fifth, 125 back. And Joe Davis, sixth in points without a win, 126 points out. And then the drivers I would put most on the wild card bubble here with six races left in the chase or in the race to the chase I mean we have Amy Shelley Elijah Workman Seth Cole and Paul Swanson running out the top 10 and just three points on the outside looking in is William Duncan with his three wins he is the first wild card holder coming in and then you go down to 26th and 27th in points to find the battle for the second wild card spot between Nathan McCain and Cassandra Renzi Drivers also with a win, but not, and, well, drivers with a win, and 11th through 30th, we have Alex Perkle, James Shelley, Zachary Fitzwater, Preston Plourd, Nick Pericles, and Jake Davis, with Gabe Williams coming into this race outside the top 30 in points. With that said, let's go ahead and hand over to Steven for his prediction on who he thinks will win this race. Before my, I say my prediction, what kind of front row do we have again, Charles? An all-Williams front row. <laughs> Um, I think who's going to win this race, I have no idea, but I'm just going to go with the double zero Cosmic Nova, because he had a tough, rough few weeks, let's see if he can do win the, win the race today. So you pick Nova, I will go with, I will go with Seth in the 52. Oh man! <laughs> and now there why are, not? I know, why not? Um... Other things to say, this is the Quaker State, I think it said, what did I say for the miles? It's Quaker State, it's the Quaker State 200, I think. Quaker so Chris State. Washer, you know, wants to do pretty good here with the Quaker State on his truck. And it's Jeff James already going for the lead on the back straightaway. From 7th to 1st, but those shadows, on, well, those shadows are real when we get to that corner shot. <laughs> well, the Toyota drafting on the outside line there with William Duncan Preston Plourd were able to get to the top spot and oh my gosh the 13 and the 50 are rub are that's the 13 and 35 rubbing door by door well we see why, there. well we see why the 35 is 37 the points there well this is not the spot for Paul Swanson Nathan McCain Amy Shelley to be at all there's a that's a Shelley sandwich right there if ever I've seen one and um Yes, oh uh, my god, this is so... This one's gonna hit the pit wall here. This is only oh. lap one, mind you, of 15. As I see the shadows, people are going so... My god, Jesus, this is gonna end bad. This is not good. This is not good. Oh, oh. Perkle and Pericles bouncing off each other up there. Man, I don't know what Charles did to the I and I, but this is some crazy great race. I don't know why this is not... On the Actually, I think this is one of the tracks where I did absolutely nothing. <laughs> yeah, whatever, well, maybe you shouldn't touch the I and I. I'm just... <laughs> Uh, maybe not. Um, Kenny Bale and Seth Cole rubbing doors now in the middle of the pack. I think that somebody's gonna get turned and it's gonna be bad because they, oh my god, I don't know how we're still green. I mean, they're like a little eight wide in some I point. agree with that. And how about this? Cosmic Nova from row, uh, 
20. From row 20, he's already up into the top 10, I think. He was 26 on that lap. He's almost leading the race. What the hell? And Duncan and Meacham were rubbing doors there. Are you serious? How can you go from 26 to the lead in one lap? And then our How can you go lead? from 19th to first in, in one lap? <laughs> you mean 16th? <laughs> no, they went from 19th to first, remember? Oh yeah, I remember that. Oh my god, this is nuts. From, from 26 to the lead in one lap though, as the caution is out. Is he gonna lead from 26? Oh, look at that four. Uh, no, I think Renzi's gotta run here on the outside. And before they die, and Renzi, where was Renzi before we before crossed the line? 21st, 14th. Oh, Kalor got the wall. 54. Oh. Oh, who won that? Oh. Uh, they gave it to Renzi. Jesus Christ, and who died? And it is, oh God, Kenny Bale. Last Bale. in the points, Kyle Matthews is involved. And Kyle Sosnowski, Henry Fitzwater, Brad Mojo, Jay Stella, Kyle Thomas. Second in the points, Roman Ray Hall. And we have confirmed that the 42 has been changed to another team next year. Well, that has not been confirmed, actually. Uh, Jeff James also involved. Chris Louvier second. He's slow. Uh, that's because they're trying to wait one for the pace car and then two for Renzi to pass them because she came across the line in the lead. Yeah, that was a fail on my part there. As field kind of stacks up a little bit, but I don't think anyone's getting into each other back here. It's time to figure out what happened to collect are uh, involving Roman Ray Hall here. Oh, well, you, and we are back. Watch the zero of Kyle Thomas as there they go. Wow, tough break for Henry. Oh, what a hard hit by the zero. And Jeff James as well, the 15. 87 goes flying. The 75 is going to plow in the secondary. The well, 17, the 75 oh. is also already right in the middle of all this. Oh, Sinoski with retaliation on the 15 of James there. That was really bad. He just, the 7 just drove straight into James's door. <laughs> if we go back... Yeah, this if, was very interesting wreck. If we go back, we can actually see that. Zero truck got plowed again by Mojo, so that's... Uh, he's done. He's done, kiddo. Yeah, you just see the 7. Yeah, well... Not there, but they were right coming across here. You get you straight, get you straight. I think oh. the seven was still trying to get control of the truck at that point, though. Eh, you gotta wheel it, though. And unfortunately for Jeff James, one of the Canadians in the field, from fifth to out of the race in one lap, I think. Well, that's a part of racing, boys. I mean, Cosmo went from twenty. Well, who's actually started last in this race? I have no idea. Dylan Young. Dylan Young is going to win from and the points leader is going to win from last and finish first. I swear to God, it's going to happen. Well, let's see if that happens as we'll go back to the green flag now. Okay, and we're back, and now I can see my counter counting up. Okay, sorry about that. And now, if we miss that, we will just explain why. Um, I don't think we missed it, oh, but oh, someone jumped the start back there. Before the 98 just jumped it so bad. I mean, that should be like a black flag. <laughs> I don't even think he gained any spots though. Washer well, seems to be off the pace, getting getting up through the gears at least. And I mean, I don't know what's better, the Craftsman logo on that 2013 Camping World truck, or uh, the uh, him jumping the start. <laughs> yeah, some of these. I love how some of these trucks have the Camping World logo and the well, Craftsman. Well, you can't logo. have both. That's the problem. Um, that is true. But William Duncan, meanwhile, goes to the race lead. He's got Nathan McCain behind him. What Charles should do is have a windshield band of his Craftsman slash Camping World. That'd be amazing. It would be awesome is to be able to have one that says Reebok and put those on. Oh, we can you, we can we can actually work that out. Uh, problem is, I'd have to put them on in paint as well. You mean a Katix? Well, no, no. I'd have to put it on to the trucks, each individual one of them. No, no, you can if you if you make a mimp like that, you can do, it would just automatically set the all of them to that. Oh, okay, cool. You can work on that maybe. <laughs> yeah. well, we will. Or we be a can work on that later or something. But it will. Back to the race. Trevor Meacham grabs the race lead, and how about this? Robin Shannon to the outside at the line. Give it to the 98. The one who jumped the restart. But I'm not who's counting. Well, he now it's that Benny end? Johnson going for the race lead. Now this is the race where you get to see all the guys who usually in the back of the field up here in shining. That's why it's um, in the point. Well, somewhat. I mean, we still have a lot of our points contenders up here in the front, but Kyle Collins now to the race lead. 
I think this is the first time all season I've ever seen Colin strut. <laughs> when he got into a or, oh god, I'm sorry for the lag. Going back, I think Charles has just lost a Monopoly. Um, actually I have that paused. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, Charles. James Shelley to the lead, now it's Zachary Fitzwater. And Gabe Williams. Look at that 16 truck go, damn, whoever's in the Oh, top. Pericles, yeah. Jesus Christ. Tried to go to a line that wasn't there. Pericles, I mean, he runs the 16 and everything but nationwide, so. <sighs> Um, it's purple in cup. Oh, that's it's it's saying it sounds like the same thing. Look at look how close. Look at her, her, her Oshiasi in the thirty five. <laughs> um, okay, I'll apologize for that. Hiroshi Kazuyoshi there in the thirty five. The ninety four Seth Cole and Jessica. I Joe Davis in the ninety four. That's Joe Davis. It's not Jessica in there. No. We haven't got to that season yet. Oh and man. And then it's still the nine. It's the oh. nine. I'm getting banned from the team speak, guys. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Oh well, man. Only because you didn't pay attention to the Facebook group. <laughs> well. Uh, Elijah never Workman. Meanwhile, one of our Canadians in the field went to the race lead. Just remember, it took me a whole season to rem rem remember me that there was no 48 in Cup. Yeah, that's the sad part about that, isn't it? <laughs> Well, uh, Kenny, I think somebody up here hasn't got a whole top 10 this whole season, but I'm thinking about Kenny Bale in the Nationwide yeah, Series. Kenny Bale in trucks that hasn't gotten a top 5, but I don't That's... see him up here. Oh, there he is. Yeah, he was up there. And Paul Swanson, that wildcard contender, though. And Dylan Young from the last row, Lily from 42nd. This isn't the 41st Seth Cole at Talladega. This is the 42nd uh, position. Well, Nick Nyleman did it in Cup back at Talladega, and oh my gosh. From 42nd to 1st? Yeah. You were there for oh, okay. that one, I think. I was Jesus. That was so long ago. My memory one, race eight. Man, I actually do remember doing that commentary, but I remember I don't remember much from it. <laughs> well, Elijah Workman leads with six laps to go here in ra with six races left in to the race to chase. Man, this race has been really good. I mean, there's so fun to go to wreck. I mean, we got like uh, what is that? Thirty seventh in the points battling up here for the lead, and we got well, thirty seventh. Let's see, we got about 32 cars in this lead pack. Yeah, and who's on the, who's, okay, he's off the pace. Who else is off the pace back there? Henry Affair, Kyle Sosnowski, Brad Mojo, and then Randy McBlair's in the pits. Oh my god, if McBlair comes out in front of the whole pack and causes a huge wreck, that would be hilarious. Well, how about some storylines coming up here? We have Paul Swanson, 10th in the points coming up. Tom Gerard, who hasn't won a thing. Well, he, he won the Hockey League. I will protest that. Okay, of the things I'm actually counting the career wins for, he's won squat. <laughs> he still won the Hockey oh, League. Oh, they're spinning! Green and white checker time. And here comes the plows. I swear, someone's going to plow. Someone's going to hit Gabe. And oh, tough break for the 34. Oh, someone's going to plow. Someone's going to plow. Is it PJ? <laughs> yes, PJ's going to plow. Oh, uh, one, two, and the one, two are off the pace. Uh, oh, oh, lordy. Oh no, oh no, go low. Are they racing back? Oh, they're already no, back. they have already right. done the race back, and it was Elijah what Workman leading. What the hell is, what the hell did they just go through? The pace truck? Yes. Oh lordy. Which is still steadily going only 110 miles an hour. I mean, I've seen tracks where it goes 180 to try and catch up to the field. I mean, that truck is going fast to my <laughs> Well, looks like now's as good a time as any to go ahead and take a look at what happened coming off turn number four. And we're back. We're trying to figure out where the contact begins, and it looks like it's going to be Gabe and Seth Cole. Gabe's just being Gabe. Oh, Kenny man. Bale, Bradley Bishop Jr. There's Robin Shannon. Amy Shelley got so lucky she didn't get turned there. Wow, that was just amazing. I think amazing. Collins got through this without getting a piece of it. Collins and Shelley, wow, they win the award for that. That was amazing. Look well, at the third. Getting into the 99 a little bit. Kenny Bale did a great job. Whoever that truck's hitting the 99. Uh, but 34, unfortunately, actually does get some damage in this. And look where he's running at the line six. I mean, look at three he was wide. Running six. He, well, he was. Man, oh man, Kenny Bale. And then I'm amazed there was no plows. The 10, I think the retired he or she, I don't know what he is. Well, we didn't that know is he did. Randy, so I would assume. 
Well, you know, this is 2014. Randy can be a girl's name, apparently, in the hood or something like that. Well, oh well. Um, so, <laughs> Elijah Workman let us down underneath the caution. Let's go ahead and go back to restart and see which type of restart we have. And what? we are back. The 10 is still on pit road, but five laps down. Bradley <laughs> Bishop Jr. retired underneath the caution. And lights are on the pace truck with what will be one lap to go when they get the green flag. Elijah Workman trying to do it for his home country here. Hiroshi, uh, Hiroshi Kazuyoshi, who was more than thrilled probably to hear that Twin Ring Motei was on the schedule next season. Preston Florida in third. Alex Hawkins fourth. Paul Swanson in fifth. Katie Elizabeth sixth. Tom Gerard seventh. Cassandra Renzi eighth. Jake Davis ninth. And Alex Perkle rounds out the top ten with Nick Pericles, Nathan McCain, Dylan Young, Eric and Rage, Cosmic Nova, Chris Washer, I, Amy Shelley, Chris Levier, Amanda Shelley, and James Shelley, the top 20. What were you going to say, Stephen? I said it was my pick. Continue, Charles. Uh, Zeke Marley, Seth Cole, Trevor Meacham, William Duncan, Joe Davis, Zachary Fitzwater, Kyle Collins, Kenny Bale, Betty Johnson, Robin Shannon, PJ Williams, Gabe Williams, Kyle Sosnowski, Henry F. Fitzwater, and Brad Mojo, the top 35. And you know what? I'd say probably top 27 might still have a shot at this. Uh, my my guess is Brad Mojo and Mel Hood's gonna win. No, I'm kidding. I don't know who's gonna win this. They all wreck. Brad Mojo wins it. Yeah, that'd be so hilarious if Brad Mojo. No, I don't think it's ever happened in an online race, offline race. I mean, before. Well, weirder things probably have happened though. Oh yes. Uh, top, what do you think of my thought though that maybe top 27 still in contention here? If Kyle Collins can actually come from 27th to win it on the last lap, that would actually be freaking hilarious. Well, I mean, like as contenders to still get good finish here like top 10 oh yeah i have no idea where people are going to finish i mean they're probably going to be seven wide off one well the reason why i say that is because obviously there's going to be some people it's a job it's well, a no no they've gotten the green flag and they're passing to the right as long as they what pass to the right they're fine what is this indy car well let's take a look let's see looks like collins might still be up in there who knows these guys might be just laying back because they don't like what they're seeing up here Oh man! Oh, my pick's gonna Dylan Young. Oh my gosh! Perkle Perk. made three wide there. That was you gotta really do moving it. that corner. You gotta do what you gotta do. Here comes, Sw Here comes Swanson. Here comes Swanson. That's not what the field wanted to see. Well, I don't but think they I care. Have... Swanson's tenth in the points coming in. How about Dylan Young from the last row? Now that's what field wouldn't want to see. But Can Hiroshi Kazuyoshi win Kazuyoshi. The Boston LePager is now gonna come to the lead. Can the Canadian hang on to it though, Workman? On the outside. They had the bombings and they had the little pager. Now can he win here in Canada? This could be <laughs> an epic finish here. Perkle to Dylan the inside. Young. Dylan Young. Look at Dylan Young. Perkle the going for a second win of the season. Dylan Young going for a second win of the season. How about this? Forty second and fortieth are in the top five here on the coming off turn four. Come on, Young. I picked it for a reason. For the last row, can he do it? No, that was perfect. That's not right. gonna happen. It's gonna be Alex Perkle going to victory lane here. For his second win of the season, he wins the Quaker State 200. Two out of the last four races for that 84. Nice job. That's true. One Michigan. And now it's going to help him. Great wild card help right there. He was actually mid pass. Kazuyoshi gets a fifth. His first top five in no. a thousand years. Second top five of the season. Second top five. Okay. <laughs> Well, the 84 is now in the wild card position, and now that's going to kill the bottom two people in the bottom. Well, it's going to be interesting because it means that Perkle would theoretically move into the second wild card spot over McCain and Renzi, but those two could still be battling it out should Duncan be able to work his way into the top 10 in points. Oh, I thought Joe Davis at first finished fourth after being 26, but he actually got 13. Um, that said. He would have to have beaten Swanson, Cole, Workman, or Amy Shelley. And I hey, don't guys. think he did either Truck. of those. He didn't do any of that. Truck 42 finished 42nd, guys. How about that for numerology? Uh, <laughs> the top 10, though, here today. Alex Perkle, Elijah Workman, Dylan Young, Preston Plort, Hiroshi Kazuyoshi, Cosmic Nova, Tom Gerard. Zeke Marley, Alex Hawkins, and Nick Pericles. Um, just kind of looking, I don't see anyone that did anything that's going to help him move into the top 10 in points. 
Uh, well, it's going to kill him because Alex Perkle actually had a good run. I mean, William Duncan still got a 23rd, did nothing on the restart. The problem with Duncan, though, for Duncan, though, he finished behind Seth. He finished behind Amy Shelley. He finished behind Paul Swanson. He finished behind Elijah Workman. Those were the four closest. Yeah, so it's going to be interesting. The only other person that was close would have been Joe Davis, and he still finished behind him. I don't see Duncan moving top 10 points after this, so he'll still hang on to that first wild card spot with three wins, but he's but he just lost ground to the top 10 today. Now the wild cards will be Duncan and Perkle. Great job by Perkle with that win here. As Well, as long as Perkle doesn't move into top 10 points, yes. Well, Perkle, well, Katie Elizabeth got that hashtag 24th. Uh, Cosmic Noah, well, Cosmic Noah did finish sixth. Kenny Bale wreck. Kenny Kyle I'll show Collins. On the bottom here, real quick. I want to check, make sure. Oh. I'll actually get the export after this, but I want to check, make sure that I get the right spawn, the number of miles right for export. But um, Ooh, Steven, well, uh, your final thoughts for today's race? Well, it was a great race, some great racing. We had a few wrecks. Good one to Perkle. I'm doing the math. He possibly could have moved up to at least 11 points. So it was a good race. Um, I'm ready to fi finish these two final Canadian races to get the hell out of Canada and go to Pocono. So uh, Yeah, uh, a short trip outside of Canada, essentially, because uh, coming up on the schedule, we do have Ricky. Oh, my God. Why do we keep going to Canada? Well, we get two races outside of Canada. We go to Pocono and then Portland. Portland? What the hell is this, 1999? <laughs> well, it is the no chicane version. Oh, we're oh no chicane. We're flying, boys. We're gonna pull a Judy McDuffie. Well, I I will we'll have a new winner for this series there because Mary Shelley actually is the defending winner of that race for Reebok, and as and before, Reebok was the only series that actually went to Portland last season. And before Mary Shelley gets put in the fifty-five truck and wins. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that would happen because Amy Shelley's seventh in points. <laughs> no. Nah. I mean, there's no reason to do that, but um. Let's see, he, she, they can put her in. The, oh, that's only showing the field. No, oh, yeah, James Shelley, but James has a win. He's needing to try and get another one. And before sub drivers. Um, and then who's the Amanda Shelley, who's also trying to still get, who's still trying to get a wild card as well. Um, but congrats to Alex Perkle once again on the win. We have two more races here this weekend. Um, oh, and man. unfortunately, I don't think this race or this track's back on the schedule next season because of um, sponsorship issues with uh, people wanting to sponsor the race. So, unfortunate hey, uh, there, uh, but a great run here for these guys again. It can be the squishy 250. <laughs> this just didn't pause. may not be here for another race. <laughs> um, well, but thanks for watching, guys. Uh, Make sure to leave a like, obviously, on the video if you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time.